Hello everyone. So today we are going to start working on a night vision system in our third person shooter series. So this is a demonstration from the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So this is the inspiration. This is the reference that I'm going to use for my system. So yeah, as you can see here in the middle, we have uh, the we have more clear view as it goes to the edges. It's darker and uh yeah we are going to use this as a reference and now let me show you what i will be implementing in here so now here as you can see uh there is an enemy at the edge of the corridor but we don't see them see see the enemy but if i enable the night vision mode now we can see the enemy like that see if i enable the binocular we can see it more clearly if I disable the night vision mode, see, it's we almost don't see him. So yeah, this is what we are going to implement today. So initially we will figure out how to do the post process material and required changes to the characters material. Uh, and then uh, after that, we will look into how to dynamically enable and disable the effect uh, with the user input. So yeah, before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you will be able to access everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And also here is the full playlist of this series. Uh, this is a series that I have been continuously doing for over five years now. So there are a lot of videos, everything is shared, so everything is implemented from scratch. Feel free to follow all these videos and implement everything by yourself. So even though this is a part of a continuous series, it's not necessary for you to have followed all previous videos to understand how to implement the night vision system that we are going to implement today. So yeah, now let's get into today's episode. Right, so this is what I have as of now. Where I, I don't have any night vision mode. It's just a, a bit darker level, that's all. So this is where we are going to test night vision. Okay, so first thing is so here, first we are going to set up a post-process material for the night vision and then if required, we will do some changes to the um, material of the character mesh itself also and then we will look into how to dynamically enable and disable night vision mode using a player input. Alright, so first thing. Under materials, I have this post process folder that I have already created. Here, let me create a new material. Let's call it M for M Night Vision. Let's add PP because this is a post process. And yeah, let me open this. get in the tabs and here I'll change this uh, material domain to boss process and I'll get a scene texture node and here I'll select boss process input and let me directly connect this here and I think we already have a post process volume yeah we do so under this, I'll add a post process material here, this one. Okay, so as of now, you don't see any difference because I'm just directly connecting the scene texture post process input to MSU color. But here, if you add a desaturation node, this will be black and white. Yeah, see now it's all black and white so i am referencing this call of duty 
uh, night vision mode so I'm trying to implement something similar to this so here you can see it it does have some uh, green some greeny overlay no colors instead of black and white and also here you see over the edges it's darker uh, and closer to the center we have the color so that's exactly what I want to replicate here okay so for that first let's see let me add a color parameter uh, the parameter let's say tint color and I'll get some greenish color somewhat similar to what we saw in court so maybe something like this and multiply with this okay apply now we get something similar to this but as you can see we still don't get any whatever we need it's not there we don't clearly we need to be able to see this character clearly all right so let's add some multiplication here amount this to a parameter Tint intensity it shouldn't be zero maybe let's try with the value like this and see okay now we do have something but this might be too much but then again if i reduce the intensity as the screen get as it uh, in the screen closer to the edges then this might work so to do that here in photoshop I have created this gradient image all I have done is let me just recreate so it's just a okay let it's just a image with the size full HD image and I'll add a new layer and fill it with black and go to gradient here I'll choose black and white and choose this mode and if I add a overlay, sorry, mask and mask with the gradient like this. See, now we get a gradient like this in the center, it's white, in the closer to the corner, it's black. Let's create a new folder, right? Vision or Vision mods, and I'll put it in here. And I'll import the night vision mask image that I created in here. And then let me multiply this image and color before we put into this multiplier so you see in the center we have a sharper image as it goes closer to the edge we have a darker image so this is what we get okay and this is somewhat okay but still I don't see any clear distinction it doesn't really help the player if I uh, if I don't make anything to make this character stand out from the background even though it's not realistic I think I should do something to make the character stand out more so here also we have this character here so maybe let me open the material so it's using the same material so if I open one of them, 
you can see this is the main material that I have used for these enemies. Let me close this and then here if I add a tiny bit of emission here yeah, I'll add a multiplier to promote the parameter let's call it uh, NV emission not vision emission so this I will maybe later on connect to a material collection parameter where I toggle the value based on uh, if the play has enabled night vision let's make it uh, higher than zero if not let's make it zero so in the regular mode there will be no emission at all but just for testing let me just put a value here and connect Now it more clear. I think this is good. For the night wish mod. Let me a little bit further. Silencer. Sky. Over there, I can see the other enemy also clearly. Better than the regular mode, without no no with no night vision. And here there is a character, but there is a light nearby. So just like in real night vision the light becomes too bright but we can see the character over there so yeah i think this is good enough as for the material and one more thing if you want to increase maybe the overall light level of the scene a little bit maybe here multiply no not a multiplier let's add some offset to this uh one is too much i'll promote this to a parameter uh light offset is something like 0.2 and apply see now we have a uh, some effect i think that adds to the night vision feel yeah but you can tune the value here if you want okay so play and see yeah right so thanks for watching so in the next episode i'll show you how to dynamically enable and disable the night vision mod uh, with the player input so yeah see you in the next episode and don't forget to like and subscribe let me know if you have any questions in the comments below